Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to teach you a finger painting and we're going to create this pretty pretty peony flowers. You know how much I love finger painting and for me painting with fingers means dipping my fingers in pens, getting the real touch of the paints on my skin without any gloves. It's absolutely therapeutic. If you have never painted in fingers before, you should totally give it a try. You will almost instantly be transported to your childhood. Alright, let's get started. I am using a 8 by 10 inches acrylic paper, a palette pad for mixing colors. And the colors I will start with are white, pink, orange and yellow. All the pretty pretty colors. In step 1, I am using a lot of white mixed with orange and pink and creating a rough outline of the flowers. I love the beautiful pastel shade you get by mixing these two colors, so I thought of creating my flowers with this shade. In the same way, I will create the second and the third flower. Step 1 is done and now I will clean up my fingers with tissue and start painting the background. For the background, I want to give a light purple shade, so I started with white and purple mix. But the color is too bright, so I added a little bit of black to it to mute down the brightness. For the entire background, I used only three colors, purple, black and white and changed the proportion to bring out the shade that I like. Now that the background is done, I will add more colors to the peonies and create thick creamy impasto textures that will pop out from the canvas. Again, I am using the same three colors, pink, orange and yellow along with white to create the beautiful pinkish orangish flowers. Okay, now step 4. Until now, I have been painting only with my forefinger. Now I start using the middle finger to add in the green. It's like using two brushes alternately. Since the leaves are going to blend in a little with the flowers, I want to have the peony colors in one finger and the leaves colors in the other finger, using them alternately. The two green colors I'm using are hookah's green deep and light olive along with yellow and white. Now I am coloring the center of the peonies with purple and blending it in with the previous colors which are pink and white. Here I am using the tip of my nails to create some textures in the middle. Now again back to coloring the green leaves and I am adding more details to the background. I'm adding in some more flowers but they are not so prominent like the three foreground ones but they still add a lot to the beauty of the painting. Now we are almost in the last step and I am blending the leaves with the background little more to create a beautiful blurry effect and to make the background more abstract. I am also making the background a little lighter in color to make the flowers pop out even more and also adding some final touch ups to the flowers. Okay, time to peel off the tapes and see how it looks. Wow, I love the final painting. The thick impasto textures are popping out from the canvas and giving such a rich look. 
And now it's time to frame this painting after it has completely dried. I love the textures of the flowers so I don't want them hidden under the glass so I took out the glass cover and framed it and I think it looks awesome. What do you think? Let me know by commenting below what's your favorite flower. If you enjoyed watching, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out on all the goodness coming your way. Thank you so much for watching.